Luton gave the team with Premiership aspirations a lesson in the finer arts of football. Quick, accurate, short passing brought them two goals from Paul Telfer in the opening 11 minutes. And we can take direct teams on and uh, if we've got space to play. Our, our early touch passing, I think we made something like 20 touches for our second goal. I think some of our early touch uh, passing in the first half was, uh, was super. I mean, we were really on top. Wolves, unbeaten in three games, were left floundering as Telfer finished off some quite brilliant teamwork for his second goal that delighted Luton's biggest crowd of the season. Wolves manager Graham Taylor had left out leading scorer David Kelly, but at the start of the second half brought him on as substitute, and Kelly's first touch produced a goal. Three minutes later, however, from a well-practiced free kick move, Luton were 3-1 in front. John Taylor signed for £200,000 from Bradford on transfer deadline day, scoring his first goal for Luton. I was so thrilled with that to go 3-1 up, I thought that was it. But the Wolves were uh, certainly resilient and um, they scored those two goals, which, was, which really knocked us for six. From Neil Emblem's cross, Kelly scored another fine goal in a highly entertaining game. Bishop Stortford referee Graham Pooley added nearly four minutes of injury time. As Emblem chased through and Scott Oakes challenged for the ball, the Luton man turned it into his own net. A dramatic equaliser for Wolves, 3-3 the result. A sad ending for us, but I'm sure there's every supporter that came last night who likes football uh, were, were, were thoroughly enjoyed it.